What's up guys? Today we are fixing three major problems I have with my BRZ. If you haven't checked out the five things I hate about my BRZ, go check it out. I'll have a link down below. You can see the five things that really bother me about this car. We're going to fix three of them today. One is midway getting fixed. I'll explain that in a second. And the fifth one, I'm just waiting to get delivered. So let me show you the one thing that was really bothering me and how I'm going to address it. I'm just waiting for some parts. One major thing that really bothered me with this car was how underwhelming the brakes were. If you guys saw in the last video, I was really explaining that and if you stuck around to the last video you can see how we are going to fix that so i've picked up myself some 04 to 07 sti brembos we will be installing this just not today i'm still waiting on the braided brake lines so we couldn't fix that today i could not wait any longer until fixing these three other issues so let's get into the video just the, the uel header on it with the Tomei cat back. So we have the Tomei system happening right now and it's loud, but uh, it sounds really good. We're gonna fix the most annoying thing about this car. I'm gonna insert a clip here from the five things I hate about this car and you guys can check it out. So you're like, okay, cool, cool. Like I get it. Like I don't have my seatbelt on. I get it. So let's stop the car or let's check this out. It gets even louder. Bang, there it is. Bro, I appreciate you looking after my safety. I really do, but I'm an adult. And I know what I'm doing, but hey, let's turn this off, right? E brake up. Still going. So there it is. You see how annoying it is. You start driving, uh, even if you want to move spots quickly. Sometimes I remove the car from the garage and I got to put my other car back in and it just chimes and it's super annoying. So let's tackle that and see if we can fix it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the car in accessory mode. And then what we're going to have to do is plug in the seatbelt. 20 times in 30 seconds, super fast. And then we're gonna turn on the car and then turn it off and it should be gone. So let's try that. So let's turn it off. So let's reset the system. This may take a few attempts. Let me get the seatbelt ready. We're gonna put it in accessory mode. We're gonna touch the uh, engine start, stop button twice. And then we're gonna plug this in 20 times. Let's see if this works. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. I think we may have done it, so let's start the car now. Let's see what's up. There's that insane start up with cameras moving. So now let's just let the car warm up just a bit. I'm gonna let that warm up and then we're gonna see if it starts chiming once we start driving. God damn, we didn't get it this time. We'll have to try it again. I may have uh, miscounted or did something wrong or maybe I have to leave the seatbelt plugged in. All right, take two, let's try this again. Like I said, I've never done this before. It's the first time I'm doing it. I'm doing it on camera with you guys. So let's try take two and maybe I gotta leave the seatbelt plugged in. Let's try this again. Let's get the seatbelt ready. Let's go into accessory mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Let's see. It's not showing the seatbelt is off, so I think. Did we do it? <laughs> yes, I think we did it. Check it out. <laughs> it worked. That was so nice. I do not have my seatbelt on. Let me see if I can show you guys. See, I do not have the seatbelt on. Even though it shows it's plugged in in the top right corner, it is not. Good stuff. 
good, good stuff. So the main difference that I did there is I left the seatbelt plugged in once I turned on the car and then I uh, unlocked it or unplugged it, whatever you guys want to call it. And then it still showed that it was in and uh, basically we didn't get the chiming noise. I'm not here to drive without a seatbelt, so if that's what you guys are thinking, it's just, I, I move the car, I reverse it out sometimes and I just move it so I can move cars because I have a one car driveway and three cars, unfortunately. So it's a lot of moving cars and it just chimes and chimes and chimes and it's super, super annoying. Uh, but I'm happy that worked. That was one of the major things I hated about this car. And so first thing I wanted to tackle with you guys, we didn't do it, the, we didn't get the first time, but the second time we did, that is awesome. Let's get to another thing that I hate that we're gonna fix about this car. The second thing that really bothers me about this car is the hill assist. It is useful in certain situations, but for me, I do not want to drive with it every day. It's just not my style of driving. I'm used to more raw, older cars, so I'm, I'm not about the hill assist, but if you guys want to keep it on, you're more than welcome to, obviously. Uh, but let me show you how to turn it off. To remove the hill assist, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the car fully. Let's turn on the car. E-brake has to go up. And then we're gonna hold this traction button for about 30 seconds. So just make sure the animation on your cluster is to is completely finished and it's not doing anything. And as you can see, it's not. And now we're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds, starting now. So holding it, not letting go. It's changed to track mode. And what it's going to do afterwards is going to change uh, back to the original animation there the original screen whatever you want to call it and we got about 15 seconds left we're almost there the car is finally quieting down i'm so sorry neighbors once again if you're watching this i apologize <laughs> there you go and then you can see once it goes back the hill assist is completely off what's up that's how we do it it is gone. There you go, the hill assist is completely gone. Some few little steps, but uh, this is how you do it. If it does bother you, there is one way of doing it. I'm so happy I was not a fan. But let's tackle the third thing, the sound dampening, or the active sound dampening in the car. If you don't know what that is, that is the car giving you animated sounds. That sounds like an exhaust through your speakers of the car which is pretty cool if you don't have an exhaust or anything like that. Uh, but because we have a whole exhaust system, I really want to hear what it sounds like without mixing in with that. So for the sound damping, what you're going to have to do is remove this one panel here with, with some trim removal tools, which I'll show you guys in a second. And you're just going to have to unplug one thing. That is it. Pretty simple stuff. Let me show you guys. My advice is to get some trim removal tools. I have these from Acuity Instruments, uh, they are pretty good quality. I've had them for years already now, and I'll link them down below if you guys do want to purchase them. Pretty easy stuff. I'd rather not use a flathead because the flathead can damage the plastic, and it's a brand new car, and I do not want that. But let's tackle it, then I'll show you guys what we have to unplug. That's simple. Very, very easy. What you're going to have to do, you guys see that white plug underneath the metal box? You're going to have to unplug that. There you go. Pretty simple. Check that out. Just unplug just like that. You just push down on that tab that you see at the top there and then you use your other finger to push down the, uh, the wire and there you go. That is your sound dampening completely off. Simple stuff. Let's put the panel back on, but that came out insanely easy. There it is. The three things that really bothered me about my car. We have fixed within, let's say 20 minutes, nothing crazy. The brambles are going to go on a separate video. I, I think that deserves a, a separate video. And then I'm still on the hunt for rear brambles. So hopefully we can do all of them at the same time. But if not, at least we've upgraded the front. The fifth thing was cubby space. I'm still researching some more ways to utilize the space that we have in there. Car mount for your phone is something super easy that I have in my WRX that I could put on there. But I think it'd be a very, very simple thing to do and you guys really don't need to see that. Uh, but you can use a car mount to basically put your phone and then use the cord for the Apple CarPlay. I have secured the JDM wheels and they're gonna look absolutely amazing. I have not seen a single 22 BRZ with these wheels on. So we're gonna be a little different and they look absolutely awesome. I have them already, we just gotta pick them up from work. Uh, that'll be an upcoming video. So if you're new to the channel, check out the other videos. We're doing a lot of cool things with BRZ and I'm super excited to share the journey with you. Boost it, eventually wide body it, and do all that type of stuff. There it is guys, the three things that really bothered me about the car. The fourth, we are fixing, we're waiting for parts. And the fifth, we are waiting for it to come in also. But those are the three major things that bother me. And uh, we got some cool JDM wheels coming in, so stay tuned for that. I wanna say thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do it once, do it right. Later.